The Hammer K3 Winner is one of the most popular panel saws in its class, thanks to its ease of use, accuracy and heavy-duty construction. We recommend that customers take advantage of our hassle-free, professional commissioning service for complete peace of mind. However, if you decide to set up your K3 Winner yourself, this video should make the process clearer. It is important to note that this video is not designed to replace the user manual and instructions that come with your machine, and you should always keep your documentation close to hand whilst attempting anything of this kind. To demonstrate how to set up the K3 Winner is our specialist Steve who will take you right through the process from unpacking your new machine to installing the saw blade ready for calibration. Start by unwrapping your machine. Next you'll need to remove the two small stops that are located on the underside of the sliding table. Now with the table drawn back, unlock the sliding cover using the locking system on the side of the machine. Slide back the cover to retrieve the guide bar and crosscut fence which are stored inside the unit during transit. With the parts removed, close the cover and slide back the table. Next, take out the guide bar from its wrapping and remove the cap from the end using an Allen key. Position the bar onto the fittings and slide into place, making sure to leave a gap of 1mm between the bar and the sliding table. Tighten the nuts to secure the bar and replace the end cap. Next, take the first of the two table supports and slot it into place at the rear of the unit. Secure the support with a ribbed nut and bolt, numbers 12 and 13 in your instruction manual, and tighten with a pair of spanners. Repeat this process on the second table support. Next, take a long number 11 bolt and thread with a number 17 nut between a third and halfway along. Add a large number 19 washer and place downwards into the hole in the table support as shown. Repeat this for the remaining three bolts and fasten them underneath with another nut and washer. Add an adhesive felt pad to the top of each of the four bolts to prevent damage to the table. Next, take a medium length number 18 bolt, thread with a large washer and feed through the end of the table support from underneath and loosely fasten with another washer and nut. Repeat this step on the other table support. For the next stage, you'll need to loosen the nuts on the guide bar and remove the first nut and washer from each of the two bolts. With the nuts loosened, slide the bolts along the guide bar so that they'll line up with the width extension table. Take a number 10 bolt and thread it with a small number 16 washer. Feed the bolt through the access hole at the corner of the unit and up through the hole, taking care not to drop it inside. Place a second small washer on the bolt and secure with a nut, tightening with a pair of spanners. Repeat this method on the middle hole and at the opposite corner. Each of these bolts will then require an additional nut, topped with a washer, to allow the table to be levelled. This also applies to the two bolts at the end of the support brackets. With each bolt in place you are ready to fit the width extension table. Start by lining up the table with the bolts on the guide bar and slotting into place. Then lower the table into position so that each bolt lines up with its corresponding hole. Replace the washers and nuts that you removed earlier to fix the table to the guide bar. Before you tighten all the nuts, you will want to make sure that the table is level. So place a straight edge across the top and adjust each nut individually until it lies flat. Ensure the tabletop is level all the way across by moving the straight edge along its surface.
cipher table level, take the straight edge and place it along the guide bar to check that that too is level and untwisted. Tighten all the nuts and then recheck that the surfaces are level. With the width extension table fitted and level, you are ready to install the parallel fence. Start by taking the fence mount and sliding it onto the bar. Loosen the grip to slide the parallel fence onto the rail and then re-tighten the thumb screw. To fit the outrigger table, first cut the straps on the outrigger and supporting arm. Slide the arm into the outrigger between the rollers and fit the cap onto the end. On the opposite end of the support, fit the restraining nut and bolt and tighten to fix in place. Next, take the outrigger table and slot it onto the support arbor as shown. Align the fittings into the groove on the sliding table and slide into position, tightening the thumb screws. With the outrigger table in place, you're ready to fit the crosscut fence. Start by laying the fence on its edge and inserting the smaller of the two fixtures into the groove from the far end. Slide the fixture along until it rests against the outer edge of the stop as shown. Next, take the larger fixture and slide it onto the crosscut fence so that it lines up with the mounting point on the outrigger table. Turn the fence upright and align the bolt into the hole so that the block fits into the groove. Move the fence past the edge of the outrigger table and upturn the 90 degree stop. Then, with the fence up against the stop, tighten each of the thumb screws and clamp the fence in place. Next, take the end stop and slide it onto the groove in the top of the crosscut fence and tighten the thumb screw. The side hand lever attaches into the groove of the sliding table at the opposite end to the crosscut fence and is tightened with an allen key. Next off, take the hand wheel and slot it onto the cutting height control and turn until the splitter has risen up out of the unit. From here, the saw guard can be fitted by slotting it into the notch on top of the splitter and tightening the thumb screw. To fit the saw blade, pull back the sliding table, unlock the cover and slide it open. Loosen the bolt with a spanner and allen key and remove the bolt and the flange. Place the saw blade into position and replace the flange and bolt. With the bolt retightened, slide back the cover and lock it into place. Once the sliding table is put back, your K3 winner is set up and ready to connect to your extraction system. Once connected, your panel saw can be calibrated so that it's ready to use. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our how-to guides and to find out more about our panel saw range, visit felder-group.co.uk.